Today at Entrepreneur, we have with us Mr. Rajan Navlani, founder of Jet Synthesis, a technology and gaming and esports company. Rajan, thank you for talking to Entrepreneur India today. And today we saw an interesting launch, You're launching something similar to the IPL, but that too in the esports domain. So, how has this shaped up? Absolutely. I think what we have introduced today is the highest level of players, community, engagement, entertainment for a sport that we have been building for the last 10 years. Real Cricket, the 24, the version that you saw got launched last December. And we, at the back of that, we had our first, you know, championship, which was there, which was on a team-based uh, mechanism. And for the first time in the history of the world, <laughs> we have launched a new sport, uh, Real Cricket. And on the back of that, the Global, global E-Cricket Premier League, which is now franchise-based. So we will have franchise team owners, pretty much like any large league in the world and we believe that you know this is just the beginning of a new emergence of a new sport um, and the best players and the best entertainment for that uh, over the history of real cricket we have had about 270 million downloads even today uh, we have about a 65 percent global market share in simulated e-cricket with uh, with you know over 15 million players spending over an hour a day you know on a weekly basis so a lot of a lot of energy, a lot of excitement around this new sport. But most interestingly, you know, we took those large number of players, reduced it to 200,000 players, got them to compete and identified our top 100. Earlier, we put them into player drafts and did our team championship. And our top global players of that are some who we are seeing here today. And now we are going to put them into an auction style like in any other league. So there will be new livelihoods getting created, new creators, new influencers, new, you know, stars not only for India but for the world and as you know esports is now a part of the Asian Games it's a demo sport in the Olympics and we believe that real cricket can be India's esport export to the world uh, we can have a game which the world will compete probably in the Olympics uh, to win a medal for the country and we hope this will be India's export to the world in the future so very excited about what we are launching today uh, and what better place than you know the start of Mahakum to do that where there's all young energy young entrepreneurs India showcasing its best uh, in India and in the world and you know I think uh, both with the DIPP the Ministry of Commerce all the other stakeholders who have come together to make this happen I think uh, we couldn't have found a better uh, place and a better opportunity to launch something like this so truly excited about what the future holds uh, for India for e-cricket for GEPL and for jet synthesis so sure. and in terms of franchise owners I mean like the way we have seen for IPL there are celebrities and businessmen coming in. Do you see similar kind of people coming in? As we know, Serum is one of the investors in Jet Synthesis. Mr. Chris Kopalakrishnan has been one. So do you think people like these will come forward to become franchise owners? Of course, we do hope to bring the best of India and the best of, uh, you know, the Indian excellence in, 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 in teams, in sport, in ownership, in celebrities. But, you know, we more also need to remember that for the Gen Zs, their idea of celebrities and yeah. the people who they follow are very different. Uh, and, you know, we are building this entire platform for them. But, yes, uh, we do not only see a large participation from, you know, whether it's Bollywood celebrity and others, but even cricket players because you know ultimately there's mentorship there is this you know that would be would be helpful uh, to people of course the skills needed to win in this are completely different you need hand eye coordination you need skill you need mental you know different level of strength uh, to win in, in 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 real cricket and in GEPL but i think uh, you know a lot of uh, ecosystem plays across many stakeholders is possible so we're truly excited because this will also attract you know new age investors venture capitalists and others because this is about building something from ground up a new sport a new champions of a sport and the entire ecosystem around that from India so in an area which I think resonates with India so we're very excited sure. yeah. and lastly, I mean, what keeps you uh, motivated and what has been the toughest part of this journey? 
journey because you've been building this for the last 10 years or more. So how difficult it was? Well, every journey has its own ups and downs. Uh, but you know, the way I see it is that every uh, kind of a challenge uh, brings upon with it a new opportunity. And I think the way we have seen this journey is every time we've been faced with a challenge, we've come out stronger. Uh, and of course, every every startup, every new business that gets created has its own set of challenges on the people. But ultimately, you know, it's, it's the team, it's the commitment of the people who are building this and the players and the engagement of, you know, the community community that makes this possible. Uh, we've of course Jet Synthesis built ecosystems of course as you know in esports, gaming, we also have ecosystems in music and entertainment um, and also in areas of concerns for Gen Z's in wellness and livelihood. So really taking a holistic digital life of an uh, Indian and seeing how we can play a small role in enhancing their lives uh, as they continue to move from here and then see how to take this from India to the world. I think that's our biggest excitement today. Okay. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.